Hi, so this is a how to insert objects and format them to the size and shape and color that you'd like. So for this lab, we're going to be working with some circles in order to create layers. And what we're going to do is we're going to create multiple circles that are stacked on top of each other to give the impression of different layers within, a, within our model. So we need to be able to insert some circles. So to start off with, there's a couple different ways we can do this. You can either go to the insert shape shapes oval tool, or you can just use the shape tool in the toolbar. So I'm going to insert some circles by using the oval tool. So you know, all you need to do is click and drag anywhere you want and actually have selected the tool. There we go. And there's my circle. All right. So we need to format this circle in order to um, in order for it to be what we want. So I'm going to highlight it. Just click on it to highlight it, get it into edit mode. And then I'm going to go format and format options. Now, over in the format options toolbar, I have size, position, text fitting, drop shadow, and reflection. I want to play with size and rotation. So in our spreadsheet that we created, let's take a look at that. So in our spreadsheet, we have the scaled layers. We're going to work from the top down. So this first layer that we're going to create, we want to be the thermosphere, and we want it to be 12 inches in diameter. So going back to my uh, Google Drawing, I want this circle to be 12 inches. So I've got it highlighted. The Format Options toolbar is open, so I have width and height. I want both of these to be 12 inches. All right, so now I have this big circle. It's so big, it goes off the grid, and that's totally okay for right, right now. So now what I want to do is I want to get this circle centered into my document. So I'm going to go to Arrange, Center on Page horizontally, and then Center on Page vertically. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to consider the color of the circle as well as the boundary of the, the border of the circle. So the, uh, we're going to be drawing a lot of circles, um, and in order to not lose them, we want them to be different colors. So for right now, you can choose any color you want by using the Fill Color tool. I'm just going to go pick a color here. And because we're going to be dealing with some very, very, very small objects, I'm also going to get rid of the border. So I'm going to choose Transparent Border, and that will um, get rid of the black line on the outside of it. All right, so I am now done with my first layer, my thermal sphere. So going to my spreadsheet, my next layer is going to be the mesosphere, and I need it to be 10.99 inches. Going back to my drawing, I'm going to go to my drawing tool, choose my oval, and I'm going to draw an entirely new circle. Now you'll notice that it's the same color as the old one. We don't want to lose it, so right away I want to change the color. And then I want it to be 10.99 for both height and width. All right, so I have it to be the right size. Now I want to get it centered on the page. So I'm going to go to Arrange, Center on Page, Horizontal, Center on Page, Vertical. And I have my next layer. So basically, you need to create a new circle for every layer until you've completed all the ones from thermal sphere to inner core. You want to make sure that they're arranged a center on page, both horizontally and vertically, and that way they will all line up and we'll get the impression of different layers inside the Earth. Uh, and that's it.